Welcome to Fairlanes Bowling Center in Halifax, Nova Scotia, where we have arrived at the semifinals of the World's Singles Knockout Tournament. In these two matches, which are taking place at the same time, you're going to see Sean Morrison against Matt Cormier and Nathan LeBlanc against Sean Baker. Sean Morrison and Matt Cormier are on lane 19 and 20, and Nathan LeBlanc is on lane 21, and Sean Baker starting on lane 22. <laughs> the winners of these two matches will face each other in the finals of the World Singles Knockout. And there's a great shot by Nate LeBlanc on lane 21. Check this out. He converts this two drop, having punched out the three and six, leaving a nice piece of wood, but he hits the one two pocket perfectly to start off with a spare. Meanwhile, Matt Cormier with a nine drop, has a five pin with some wood that could be tricky, but he punches it back and makes the spare. And Sean Morrison and Sean Baker both started with nines. So the two Canadian bowlers, Matt Cormier and Nate LeBlanc are jumping out to an early lead. And there's a strike by Nate LeBlanc in the second box. On replay, you will see that he just stuffs this in the one-two pocket. Great shot. Sean Baker drops eight, leaving a 9-10 with some wood to the left of it. And he hits the wood, but doesn't isn't able to get anything going on that uh, right side, so he'll be open in the second box. Sean Baker takes a nine. And so Matt Cormier slides by the uh, the head pin. So he and Sean Morrison will both be open in the second. Nice shot by Matt Cormier for a 10. That gives him 27 through two. And Sean Baker with a strike on lane 22. Badly needed because uh, Nate LeBlanc started out with two marks. So here's, as you can see, pretty solid 1-3 pocket hit and the four is the last to go. It's upended from behind, as you can see. Strike in the third for Sean Baker. Meanwhile, Nate LeBlanc had a pretty good one-two pocket hit, but he's left with the five, seven, eight, nine, ten. Pretty, uh, pretty tough break off a good hit. Matt Cormier with... No, it's going to be a strike for Matt. He got that, uh, got the 10 pin to go last. It took, took a while. Nate LeBlanc with 8 on the strike and a 9 box. He leads, he's got 47 through 3 to Sean Baker's 28 with a strike up. See what Sean Baker can do with that strike that he had in the third. He almost throws a double. He's got nine and a five pin with uh, a couple of planks. And Nate LeBlanc throws another strike. Let's uh, have a look at this strike by Nate LeBlanc. Another one-two pocket hit. A little bit lighter than the other one, but it gets the uh, gets the rack down in a hurry. Sean Baker converts that five pin. And Matt Cormier with an eight drop, leaving a five nine with a nice plank in front of it. And he's got that no problem. And there's a great spare by Sean Morrison over on lane 19. Converting the 2 4 10 for a spare. Let's see if we have what that looks like on replay. You can see he hits the 
Well, it catches the left side of that cap and sends it over into the 10 while the ball takes out the 2-4. That's pretty important because uh, Matt Cormier has three marks in the first four boxes, so in order to not fall too far behind, Sean needs to uh, get it going. Spares in the fifth for both Nate LeBlanc and Sean Baker, and they will switch sides. Matt Cormier with a six drop on the spare, giving him 63. So he leads Sean Morrison 63 to 47 through four. And there is a strike, another strike by Nate LeBlanc. You can see one three pocket hit and they they go down pretty quickly. It's getting it's pretty tough to keep up with these guys. And just as uh, we're saying that, uh, Matt Cormier with a spare. Let's look at this four six seven ten conversion. Uses the wood and gets the uh, the pin to come off the wall and fly across and get the seven. So that's a great shot right there. And that's in the fifth. John Baker also with a spare in the fifth. So now uh, Baker or uh, Morrison and Cormier will switch sides. They are a frame behind uh, Baker and LeBlanc. Ooh, Sean Morrison with uh, just three. Hit the head pin, but just punched through the middle and took out the one, five, and nine. That gives him 60 through five. Matt Cormier with seven on the spare, so he's got 80. He has a 20 pin lead over Sean Morrison, 80 to 60 through five. And Morrison almost converts that spare. Sean Baker working on a spare. He has Five, giving him 90 through six. And Nate LeBlanc with an eight on the strike. So Nate LeBlanc is leading Sean Baker 105 to 90 through six. And that'll be a 10 box for Nate LeBlanc. And see what Sean Baker can do with this. He's able to convert it for a 10. So it's still a uh, 15 pin lead for LeBlanc. John Morrison with seven. Once again, he has that two, four, ten, very similar to the uh, the shot he had before. He had the wood is pretty similar, some wood to the left of the to the right of the two, four, and he's got it. That's a great shot by Sean Morrison. Let's have another look at this. You can see that the ball hits this, the two pin and the wood, and it flies almost over that wood that's in front of the 10 pin, but it just catches enough of the wood to uh, to get the wood to knock over the 10. Very crucial spare by Sean Morrison, as he doesn't want Matt Cormier to get too far ahead. And Matt with a, uh, a nine box, giving him 10 six through seven. And there's a spare by Sean Baker. That'll give him an opportunity to cut into the 15 pin lead of Nate LeBlanc. Meanwhile, Sean Morrison with, a, with an eight fill on the spare that he had in the seventh. That gives him 88 and he's still down 18 to Matt Cormier. And he's got that spare in the eighth. Matt also with a spare leave. And Matt takes care of that 3-6, so that will give him a chance to, uh, to hang on to the lead. And Sean Baker with just a 3-drop on the spare, so he is still down by 12. Through 8 boxes, Nate LeBlanc 125, Sean Baker 113. And Sean goes by the head pin, so he'll be open again in the ninth. And that's going to mean that he's probably going to have to throw a double in the tenth. And Matt 
Cormier with a, another strike in the ninth. That gives him 136 with the strike up in the ninth and Sean Morrison with 111. Here's another look at the strike by Matt Cormier. Nice 1-3 pocket hit, pretty solid, and that's just about going to put the match away. So Matt Cormier has a commanding lead over Sean Morrison in the left semifinal. And Sean Baker is not able to, uh, to throw a strike, which I think is probably what he needed there because he's down 11. He certainly has to make this spare to have a mathematical chance to make up the 11 pins. And that doesn't go. So Nate LeBlanc and Matt Cormier are going to be the two winners in the semifinal matches, and they will face each other in the final. Good bowling by all four guys, and let's take a look at the, uh, the final scores in this match. Matt Cormier, 154 over Sean Morrison, 120, and Nate LeBlanc, 142 over Sean Baker's 132 here in the singles knockout at Halifax, Nova Scotia.